Hey, if you are having problems with erectile dysfunction, stress, just not getting the right foods in, then today what I'm going to do is break down the right foods for you to eat to overcome erectile dysfunction. And hey, my name is Brian, aka Uncle B, and for the last 20 years I've been the men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac, and I've talked about foods before and the type of foods that you should be eating. And I want to make sure that we are very clear on a couple of things. So let me go ahead and break it down. Specifically, what I'm going to be talking about is how your body gets clogged and how that affects your testosterone and which foods you can eat to unclog it so your body is working perfectly and you don't have erectile dysfunction. And I want to give a shout out to my nephew nation and my uptown uncles, the nephew nation, the guys who are open to learning and getting new information and my uptown uncles, the ones who have had their successes, had their failures, and are willing to share that information. And if you like what you hear, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm gonna do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it. While these foods are specific to ED, I want you guys to understand that if you're eating whole plant-based diet, then you won't have these problems to begin with. I talk to guys all over the world and some of the foods I'm about to list out aren't all over the planet, but there is vegetation all over the planet. Just look for what's near to you and start eating that. Now, when it comes to your erections, it's not just your erections that are not working. That means your entire body isn't working correctly. And here's something to really understand. Erectile dysfunction is an early sign of high cholesterol. Too much bad cholesterol causes plaque inside of the veins, which slows down blood flow, which leads to a whole host of issues, of course, including erectile dysfunction. And even worse, high cholesterol affects the production of testosterone and of course the bursting and burning of testosterone is what fuels erections. So let's go ahead and get into those foods that you can go check out the refrigerator hopefully and start eating them right now. Off break, let's talk about celery. Celery contains a plant sterol that actually mimics testosterone in your body. Asparagus has zinc and B vitamins that helps increase your testosterone. Green tea is actually very wonderful. It has plenty of antioxidants. It boosts your metabolism and does a lot more. Broccoli normalizes your blood pressure and it helps to detoxify your body. Spinach improves your eyesight, helps with blood pressure, and improves your muscular strength. Avocado is important because it decreases cholesterol and helps clear the arteries. Cauliflower is really great because it flushes out estrogen. Pomegranate lowers blood pressure and normalizes blood circulation. Cinnamon acts as an aphrodisiac. It is actually one of the ingredients in African fly, and it also helps with making sure your arteries don't harden. Watermelon. Watermelon, which is now one of my favorite fruits because it does help with L-citrulline in terms of getting opening up blood flow throughout your entire body, including your penis. Kale is great because it does two things. It both lowers your estrogen and increases your testosterone. And garlic is great too because it lowers blood pressure by opening up your veins and letting more blood flow through. Blueberries and strawberries have a lot of dietary fiber and they also lower blood pressure. So those are the foods that you can use to help with erectile dysfunction. Just keep looking for more fruits and vegetables that you can eat. It's just not these right here. There are more things out there. Make sure you're looking for that. Now I just got a few tips right quick that'll help you in the overall journey, not just with the food. And that includes try maintaining an ideal weight. Of course, that makes sense. Keep your cholesterol and blood pressure under control. Be careful of what you eat because when you're eating heart healthy stuff, you're actually eating penis healthy stuff. Stop smoking. I think that should be obvious, but really guys, if you have, if you are smoking, stop with that, even the weed. I know. And of course the basic, go ahead and exercise regularly. You're going to increase the blood flow through your body. You're also going to get the other benefits that comes along with it. Make sure you have that as a regular thing in your life. So in conclusion, cholesterol is a fatty wax that can clog up your body, clog up your system, causing erectile dysfunction. And to prevent that from happening, here are the foods that you need to start eating. Oatmeal, strawberries, green tea, spinach, avocados, broccoli, kale, celery, and asparagus, watermelon, 
cinnamon, pomegranate, garlic, and cauliflower. So question of the day, do you eat any of these foods or any of these foods on your list? Leave your comments below. And of course, make sure you hit the like button, hit the notification bell, hit the subscription button so we can get some more of this information to you. And of course, remember every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going live to answer your questions, talk about this subject and a lot more. This is Uncle B saying, get your game up. Peace out.